This is Bernard and I'm Mark and we're the Toshiba Technical Solutions Consultants and we're here today to share some tips with you. So in this tip we're going to take you through understanding what an executable install is, what an INF install is and actually show you what you're going to end up with as your final result. A lot of the time we get asked questions from our customers as to how do we do a clean image build? How do we get the operating system on there so it's as efficient as possible and as clean as possible? And that's one of the things that we're going to look at today. So to achieve this, we've got two sets of drivers, INF driver packs and executables. And we're going to show you a clean build. When looking at INF drivers, the picture as a bridge between the hardware and the software layer. And the same will be for Windows 10, Windows 8, as well as Windows 7. So one of the key things we're going to be looking at is when looking at a clean build, first thing we need to do is look at Device Manager. Now Device Manager is going to show all the hardware elements and the idea is to get a clean Device Manager. So we're going to now install our executables, starting off with the graphics driver, the Toshiba Value Added Package, the Network Registration Tool Light, and finally the touchpad driver. Just, just those four executables, nothing That's more? That's correct. So what are you going to do with getting the rest in there? We're going to use our INF driver pack, which contains all the INF drivers needed for the, the clean device manager. So what I'm doing now is I'm just running the application. So again, it's quite simplistic. Just double click on our TC file and follow the on-screen instructions. It's really that easy. So for Mark, who often battles, just press next, next, next. I'm waiting for you to actually do that right now. Now, right at the end, it's going to ask you to restart. Because we're stored in multiple executables, you don't need to do a restart each time. So just say no to the restart. Because finally, once we've completed everything, we will do a final restart. So as you can see, we are now installing the, the display driver, followed by the Toshiba value added package, the network registration tool, and the touchpad. And no more executables than that? No. So the rest are going to be through the INFs? Correct. So the next stage now is the INF. So what we're going to be doing is right-clicking on the unknown device, say an update driver, and what we're going to do is browse to the folder containing all our INF drivers. Now what's really unique about our INF drivers, it's all in one package, which means you don't have to worry about which one is the correct INF driver or which directory to find. You just point it to one folder and Windows will automatically associate the right driver. So as you can see here, I'm just pointing to my folder and going OK and going Next. And what it's done now, it's found the correct driver. That's pretty much all your job's based on, isn't it? Yes, no, cancel and back. Don't tell management. So this is the final stage, really, to, to get that clean device manager. So Correct. you've got the bare drivers in there without all the utility graphics so you can choose what applications you put in there later on yourself. Correct. Think about this as the building blocks, the foundation of your image. So using the INFs, you get the driver, you get the clean device manager, but you don't get the utility. It really is as simple and as beneficial as that. All right, so we're done. Final stage is the restart. And you'll see shortly, once the machine's restarted, we have a clean device manager, and full functionality. So as we've seen in there, it's very easy for you to choose what you want from your operating system, what drivers to install, and how to use the combination of executables and INFs to get what you want for the system your users need. All the great tips and more can be found on the Toshiba Technical blog. Please visit the link below.